I think the most important thing about all this is I'm really proud of how it came out. It's been a lot of back and forth. It's been, gosh, I think I've done maybe 30 versions of the intro. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm -hmm. I've made about, I I know for a fact, I've made 19 thumbnail variations um, because the, (laughs) the number on the last export was V19. And within each variation, there's minor tweaks to that with fonts and color choices. Um, all of that work is partially, not not partially, primarily my struggles with ADHD and perfectionism. And I want to just say that out loud. Like, I think a lot of it is just getting in my head too much. And um, because I wanted this to be perfect, I would procrastinate the project because, oh, I don't have, I don't have... 20 hours to sit down right now because I knew that's what it would take. I knew if I'm going to do this, I'm going to, I'm just going to have to pour everything I have into it. And it's going to take me a week to get it done. And so I would kind of like work on it a little bit. And then I would obviously do things that paid me money. And so I would move on to at the time Soundstripe or other paid uh, freelance work. So, and then also too, just feeling so, um, unsure and it's so new territory for me. I've been doing gear reviews for so long. I've never done a big kind of entertainment challenge based video of this scale before. Um, it was very overwhelming. I mean, we had nine cameras for this shoot. It was a two day shoot or well, technically three days. If you count the, the, um, award ceremony and a lot of footage to go through, five different audio recorders that had to be synced to all those cameras. It was just a lot of work. It was very hard. I, I like I'm comparing myself as I was editing. I was kind of comparing myself to Arak or Mr. Beast or whatever. And I realized I'm like, man, the, I really should not be comparing myself to any of them because first off they have, they're so far ahead in terms of their understanding of this. Cause they've been doing it for so long. They have just an innate sense of what works and what doesn't work. They also have a clear direction and a cl- clear audience. I don't have any of that. They also have a team of people to help them. Um, I heard an interview with Jimmy, Mr. Beast. He said that it takes about six months from conception of the idea to execution to final edit for him. And they're, they, he has multiple teams working on videos. So he's always six months ahead of his upload date. And he just has different teams working on different things. Whereas this was completely done, you know, other than the days that we shot it, which I had so much help, including Connor and my, our friend Malachi and uh, Chris Haggerty and Jim Cook and a lot of my close friends who helped out with this project. Not only did I have that on the day, but when it came to the edit, I was completely alone on the edit. I I asked for help and I did get help and suggestions and comments, but man, it was a lot of work. But here we are. It's done. I'm really proud of how it came out. And um, that is the most important thing, I think, is like, I'm happy with it. And I feel like I've done everything I possibly can at this point. I know it can be better. I know I could change things about the story that could make this maybe make a little bit more sense. But I didn't have that understanding. I didn't really know what I was doing when we shot it. And now that I've edited it, I wish we shot certain things a certain way to help with the storytelling. Um but we just didn't. And I can't kind of fix things that were just not there on the day. Um, So I've done everything I possibly can. I'm really proud of how it came out and I'm curious to see how the response will be of this new venture. But uh, this is the first um, video on my new channel, which we'll, we'll link in the description of this podcast. So if you want to go over there and subscribe to that, um, you can check it out. Um, but yeah, this is the very first video on a brand new channel. Um, this is part of that journey of giving the Kinotika channel to Connor and, you know, he's carrying that forward on that channel. And this is a brand new, uh, thing because if I were to have posted this on the Kinotika channel, I don't know if it would have worked properly because this is such a different audience. Um, I mean, it's similar. There's a lot of similarities, but it's such a different format from a review video. And so I really wanted a fresh start and kind of get an audience of people that are interested in this type of content rather than forcing it on people who already like a review-based format. 
So that's why I've, I've started a new channel um, and I've gone this direction. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm that's excited. A, that's a lot. I mean, so I've been seeing bits and pieces of this video now for a year and it really has come a long way since even the first cut that I saw. Now, I, I remember you kept the cut, at least uh, for me, pretty close to the chest um, at first. And I, I wonder uh, 100% why. Maybe it was just because you were figuring it out and you weren't sure what you were doing yet. Um, but I have seen a bunch of cuts up to now. And I will say, I think you did a really good job. I think it came out great. Very fun. Very engaging. Thank you. Um, I think the concept is wonderful. And... I look forward to seeing uh, what else your channel is going to do in the future, because like you said, this is just the beginning of your new phase of content. So um, for those who don't know, which everyone should know who listens, but Dave, you know, he did camera reviews for five years. Yeah, I believe five, well, almost six years now. Yeah, but yeah, yeah um, we started with Kino Tika. I mean, we started with my my personal channel actually just doing it, and then I got that job, and then you and I did that together. And then yeah, Indie, and then Indie Mogul was um, really just a dream come true and an awesome opportunity to work for a company of that scale. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was really amazing. And it was actually during my time at Indie Mogul that I realized I don't have that passion for the review space like I used to. And I was wanting to do what I've just done on Indie Mogul. And I would argue that it probably would work well on Indie Mogul, this format. I think it would probably do really good because mm -hmm. it had a huge audience. Um, but that was not the direction that they wanted to take the channel. And so, and also too, I didn't want to live in LA. So I quit. And um, other than this podcast, um, I haven't had any consistent YouTube content going on. I've kind of done occasional reviews here and there. We did a wonderful, um, you know, Japan collab <laughs> with Panasonic mm -hmm. that I had a ton of fun making that. And I posted that on my second channel. But um, but yeah, this is really what I've been working on for the last... I got a little taste of it, I guess, with the drone video. We did the, the DJI Mini 3 versus Inspire video. That was my first experiment with this format of doing a little bit more scale and having a, some sort of challenge and making it a little bit more entertaining. Right. And um, that video did really well. It got about a hundred thousand views in a week, which uh, was, I, th I think uh, a success for that channel and for what that video was. Mm -hmm. um, I, d I did another trial with a wedding video that didn't perform well. I think that was a mismatch on the audience there. I also think the video probably could have been a little better too. So, um, anyways, this is what I've been working on for the last two years is just thinking about this. I, I feel like there's a real need for something different in the filmmaking niche. And I've seen a couple people try concepts like this. Um, and some of them do well, some of them don't, but nobody's truly gone all out and kind of just put everything into it. And I will say this was real expensive to make. I mean, I I was grateful for Soundstripe who who did sponsor this video, but they only that 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 money was only a quarter of what I spent. So mm -hmm. the other three quarters of this video, in terms of what I spent to make it, not including the hundred hours or more of editing, uh, you know, was about seven thousand dollars of my own money. So, um. These are expensive, so <laughs> I think, uh, and you know, obviously, if you're trying to replicate what Jimmy's doing, which I'm not, but I am trying to kind of do something different, it's just mm -hmm. expensive because of the production. So, um, hopefully, a brand will see this video. And if you, if a brand is watching this, hi, I would love to work with you. <laughs> These cost me about fifteen thousand dollars or more. Um, so, if anybody would be interested in sponsoring in the future, that'd be great. But, um. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm kind of rambling here, but do you have any other thoughts about it? Um, not, not in particular. I, I think it's, you know, like we, we already discussed and you kind of got it off your chest is, you know, it's, it's been a long time coming, uh, and a long time coming. We've probably, we've probably annoyed, I've, you, I've annoyed my friends with it, honestly. Yeah. We've given you a lot of crap for it, for sure. Um, some of it deserved, some of it, maybe not, but we were, you know, goofing on you. 
because it's like, oh, you know, it's the video that'll never get done. Uh, and it was failing like that for a long time. But this past couple of weeks, you really were like, you know what, enough is enough and I'm just going to get it done. And it was great. And yeah, it, I think it, I think it came out great. I, th- I hope it's received well for you. Um, I think it should be received well. It's just up to the, you know, the YouTube algorithm gods, if it gets sucked in or not. And um, yeah, well, we'll, we'll see what happens. That's why I mentioned what I said at the beginning, which is I'm proud of of it from a from our artistic standpoint. You know, as an artist creating something, I am proud of of what I m- made. You know, yeah. so um, at the very least, I think our little community of of YouTube filmmaker people, I think they will enjoy it. So whether that's a couple thousand people or you know, if the DJI Mini Three versus Inspire Two video got around a hundred thousand views, you know, I, I would hope we could at least hit that number. So my, my like kind of dream goal is to, to get a hundred thousand views. That'd be, that'd be great. Yeah. I mean, obviously the goal is to get as many views as possible. <laughs> like that is the, I, I'm not going to hide from that. Yeah. Um, everything I'm doing is modern YouTube, uh, strategy. So this has been very thought out. Every second of the video is designed around a YouTube format and then the thumbnail and the title and just everything. Like I've, I've thought a lot about the marketing of this um, and we'll see if it works. 